fact, some people in Baldwin Park may have to recast their votes after someone set a ballot box on fire. It is a shocker this morning. CBS 2 Tina Patel is live with the latest on the investigation for us. Tina, good morning. Good morning. Tampering with ballots is a federal crime, so investigators are taking this very seriously. They are looking for security cameras in the area or any witnesses who may help them find the person responsible. Voters have been coming by to drop their ballot off at this box outside the Baldwin Park Library, only to find an out of order sign on it. This is why. Whoa! Last night around 8 o'clock, firefighters were called to put out a fire inside the box. Arson investigators are not sure how it may have been set. George Silva was riding through the area at the time. I noticed the smoke coming out of the ballot box. It was pretty heavy. He watched as firefighters flooded the box with water and foam, then hacked in the box to make sure the fire was completely out. Silva said it was disheartening to see just how many ballots had been damaged or destroyed. Right now is a time that people need to have their voices heard. So to do something like this is just terrible, you know. The mayor agrees. He's now working with local, state, and federal authorities to not only find the person responsible for setting the fire, but also to figure out how many votes may have been compromised. The residents or those who decide to use this particular box, I mean, they voted already, so we need to reach out to them. For those who haven't cast their ballot yet, the mayor hopes this doesn't discourage people. He says if someone is not comfortable voting in person, they can mail their ballot in or find another official drop box. We talked to one voter who said the only one he'll trust now is the one at the county election office. The county uh, registrar has the same box there, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's watched 24. I mean, I'd rather take it to Norwalk and, and drop it off. Now all voters can track their ballots online and election officials are asking people to use that system. They say if someone had dropped off a ballot at this box and they have not gotten current information that it has been delivered, then they should contact the registrar's office. We'll send it back to you in the studio.